In the vast expanse of our solar system, a cosmic mystery beckons, challenging our understanding of the celestial realm. The quest for Planet X, also known as Planet 9, has captivated the minds of astronomers, space enthusiasts, and curious minds alike. Beyond the familiar orbits of our eight well-known planets, there exists a shadowy world, a hypothetical night member of our solar family. Today, in this video, we'll delve into the heart of this enigmatic pursuit, unraveling the story of Planet X's discovery, exploring the compelling evidence hinting at its existence, and providing an up-to-date glimpse into the ongoing scientific endeavors aimed at locating it. Join us as we embark on an astronomical journey poised on the precipice of a potential cosmic revelation and endeavor to answer the burning question, are we on the verge of finding Planet Nine? Plus, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. The mnemonic my very educated mother just showed us nine planets was a helpful memory aid from my youth for recalling the names of the planets in our solar system mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn uranus neptune and pluto it's worth noting that this mnemonic is a bit outdated as pluto lost its status as the ninth planet in 2006 leaving us with only eight. However, intriguingly, there's a possibility that another massive celestial object, roughly five times the size of Earth, exists in the distant outskirts of our solar system. So perhaps my educated mother's original statement still holds some truth after all. Today, we delve into the compelling evidence supporting the existence of a ninth planet, the elusive Planet X and examine why some scientists assert a 99.6% certainty of its presence, while others remain skeptical. But first, let's unravel the intricate process of discovering new planets. The process of discovering new planets is a challenging endeavor. If I were to present you with an image like the one before you, you'd likely understand the difficulty of the task. Can you identify a planet here? Most likely, your answer is yes. And it's not limited to just Earth at the bottom, which is undoubtedly the easiest planet to spot. This photograph also contains Mars, yet it appears strikingly similar to the surrounding stars, mere glistening points in our nightly canvas. The initial hurdle faced by aspiring astronomers in celestial mapping is the distinction between various celestial objects, particularly distinguishing planets from other entities. What's truly remarkable is that over four millennia ago, early human astronomers accomplished this feat through diligent observation alone. By meticulously scrutinizing the night sky and crafting intricate star charts, Babylonian astronomers managed to trace the trajectories of these celestial bodies. They discerned which ones were in orbit within our solar system and which ones remained relatively stationary. This achievement stemmed from the fact that stars, due to their vast distance from Earth, exhibited no apparent motion, in stark contrast to the planets, which were comparatively closer and displayed observable movement. It stands as a remarkable testament to their deductive prowess. This method of observation successfully identified the first six planets in our solar system, ranging from Mercury to Saturn. However, it proved inadequate for detecting planets beyond Saturn. As planets grew more distant, their visibility to the naked eye diminished significantly. The subsequent planet, Uranus, resided at such a remote distance that it eluded human detection until the advent of the telescope in the early 1600s. Even with the aid of telescopes, it wasn't until 1781 that Uranus was officially discovered, and this discovery happened quite serendipitously. The English astronomer Sir William Herschel, while in his garden one evening, was using his homemade 6.2-inch telescope to search for comets when he stumbled upon Uranus by sheer chance. 
Initially, he believed it to be a comet, but subsequent observations by Herschel and other scientists revealed telltale signs such as the absence of a tail, confirming its planetary nature. They christened it Uranus, in keeping with the tradition of naming planets after figures from Roman mythology, specifically the father of Saturn, who, in turn, was the Roman equivalent of Cronus. Once astronomers pinpointed Uranus's location, they realized that they had inadvertently observed it in earlier star charts dating as far back as 128 BC, though it had been mistakenly identified as a star rather than a planet. Telescopic observations provided the necessary zoom to discern the difference and officially recognize Uranus for what it was. Interestingly, the quest for the final planet, Neptune, departed from the telescope-based discovery method and relied on mathematical calculations. Following several decades of meticulously observing Uranus and meticulously mapping its orbital trajectory, Alexis Boulevard, relying on the principles of Newtonian physics, published an astronomical table detailing Uranus's orbit. Nevertheless, a significant issue arose during subsequent observations. Astronomers closely monitored Uranus and noticed a perplexing discrepancy. Uranus did not conform to the projected path outlined by Boulevard's calculations. This unexpected departure from the predicted orbit prompted astronomers to dedicate considerable effort to unraveling the underlying reasons behind this disparity. Possibly, errors in their observations or the validity of Newtonian physics came into question. However, it wasn't until 1845 that Urban Le Verrier, a French mathematician, offered a comprehensive explanation for the conundrum. An external planetary influence was at play, affecting Uranus's orbit. Uranus exhibited deviations in its orbit, indicating that something was perturbing it. Le Verrier astutely proposed that this perturbation could be precisely and accurately predicted through mathematical calculations, suggesting the presence of another planet exerting gravitational forces on Uranus, thereby subtly altering its orbital path. Le Verrier's calculations were so meticulous that they even provided astronomers with precise coordinates for the location of this additional planet, essential for reconciling the observed orbital discrepancies. Astronomer Johann Gottfried Galle turned his attention to the specified coordinates and as Le Verrier's calculations had remarkably predicted, he located Neptune with precision, coming within a single degree of accuracy. Similar to the Uranus discovery, the revelation of Neptune's existence had its historical twist. Once astronomers had determined Neptune's precise position and orbit, they combed through their historical records, uncovering previous mentions of this distant celestial body. Intriguingly, although Neptune remained beyond the reach of the naked eye, Galileo had surprisingly observed it through his telescope as early as 1612. Galileo's observations even included a peculiar notation regarding Neptune's apparent movement between two separate observations, though he didn't fully grasp its significance at the time. In hindsight, Galileo and others who had glimpsed Neptune mistook it for just another star. Only Johann Gottfried Galle correctly identified it as a planet, earning him rightful credit for the discovery of Neptune. The discovery of Neptune marked a pivotal moment in astronomy, as it represented the first instance of locating a planet within our solar system through mathematical prediction rather than mere observation. This achievement laid the groundwork for future endeavours in a similar vein, leading us to the intriguing quest for the ninth planet. Fast forward to the year 1903, when Percival Lowell published a book that challenged the existing understanding of our solar system. He argued that Neptune alone couldn't account for the irregularities observed in the motions of Uranus and other celestial bodies. Lowell firmly believed that there had to be another substantial planet lurking in the outer reaches of our solar system, one with enough gravitational influence to perturb the orbits of other planets. He coined this hypothetical celestial body Planet X, and the quest to find it became a lifelong passion for him. 
Percival Lowell dedicated years of his life to the relentless pursuit of Planet X, a quest that endured even beyond his lifetime as he donated $1 million in funding to encourage continued efforts to find it. While his tireless work did lead to the discovery of Pluto in 1930, it became evident that his small dwarf planet could not be the elusive Planet X due to its diminutive size. Remarkably, despite a century passing since Lowell's initial quest, Planet X, or Planet 9, remains officially undiscovered. So, why do we believe it might exist? Much like the situation preceding the discovery of Neptune, not all celestial objects in our solar system follow the expected patterns of orbital behaviour. This phenomenon gained prominence in 2016 when astronomers Mike Brown and Konstantin Batygin were studying Kuiper Belt objects, also known as KBOs. The Kuiper Belt, situated beyond Neptune, spans a region from 30 to 55 astronomical units AU, from the Sun. Brown and Batygin observed an unusual clustering of 14 KBOs at a specific point in their orbits around the Sun. They posited that this peculiar clustering constituted evidence of an external gravitational force drawing these objects together, influencing their orbits as we observe them today. Mike Brown and Konstantin Batygin persistently advocate their theory to this day, maintaining a strong belief in the existence of Planet X with a 99.6% certainty. If their assertion holds, Planet X must possess significant mass, at least five times that of Earth, and it would likely orbit the Sun at a vast distance, ranging from 300 to 520 astronomical units. To put this into perspective, Neptune, our furthest known planet, orbits at approximately 30 AU from the Sun, with 1 AU representing the Earth-Sun distance. Therefore, the supposed Planet X would require around 10,000 years to complete a single orbit. From the perspective of Planet X, the Sun would appear as bright as the Moon, rendering it a cold and dim place, even during its daytime. The origin of Planet X remains a subject of debate among astronomers. Some suggest it might have formed within our solar system, been captured by the Sun's gravitational pull from a passing star, or been a rogue planet drifting through space. However, not all astronomers are convinced of Planet X's existence. In 2020, two astronomical surveys, the Outer Solar System's Origin Survey and the Dark Energy Survey, identified over 1,000 Kuiper Belt objects KBOs, without detecting any unusual clustering or perturbations in their orbits. This has led some astronomers to propose alternative explanations for Brown and Batygin's observations. It's possible that the observed clustering of 14 objects was a result of observational bias or insufficient data. Some have even suggested that the phenomenon could be explained by gravitational effects from Neptune passing through the region early in the solar system's history. The pressing question remains, if Planet X exists, why haven't we spotted it yet? Thanks to modern technology, astronomers have extensively scanned the areas where Planet X is predicted to reside. They've combed through vast swathes of the night sky with advanced telescopes and computers. But despite these efforts, the outcome has not been as swift as Le Verrier's Neptune discovery, with no planet found in any of the expected locations. Citizen science projects, like the one on Zooniverse, have also joined the search for Planet 9, resulting in the discovery of nearby brown dwarfs and stars, but not the elusive planet itself. However, the failure to detect Planet X doesn't definitely negate its existence there are still plausible explanations for its elusiveness. With a lengthy orbital period of 10,000 years, the planet could be concealed in a particular segment of its orbit where visibility is compromised, perhaps near a cluster of bright stars that obscure it, or at its aphelion, the farthest point in its orbital path from the Sun, where it may be too faint for all but the most powerful telescopes to observe. Alternatively, 
There's always the chance that we may have already captured an image of Planet 9, but mistakenly identified it as a star. Given the sheer number of billions of stars in the night sky and Planet X's lengthy 10,000 year orbital cycle, it's plausible that it could take several years to notice a star isn't precisely where it was in previous photographs. Hence, the search for Planet X persists through at least two distinct approaches. Researchers seeking Planet 9 have enlisted the aid of the powerful Subaru telescope, capable of scrutinizing even the hypothetical farthest extents of Planet X's orbit. There's a chance that, if it exists, it may be spotted within the next five years or so. Simultaneously, Astronomers like Brown and Batygin continue thorough investigations of existing astronomical data in hopes of detecting the faint speck among billions that is ever so slightly deviating from its expected position. It's a painstaking process, but the intrigue of the search is undeniable. What's fascinating is that recent planetary discoveries in our solar system have often involved contributions from amateur astronomers. The discovery of both Uranus and Neptune, whether they realized it at the time or not, can be credited to individuals who simply aimed their telescopes at the night sky one fateful evening. Of course, there's also the possibility that the ninth planet might not exist at all, or could be so distant that only advanced telescopes like Subaru could spot it. However, the search continues. In closing, whether through meticulous data analysis or a bit of amateur stargazing, the real ninth planet in our solar system might not be discovered by Brown or Batygin, but by one of us. So, if you're interested in taking a shot at it and would like a tutorial on the Zooniverse Citizen Science Project, feel free to let me know in the comments. I find this endeavor quite exciting, and who knows? Even if we don't find Planet 9, we might be the first to uncover something else entirely. You may be curious about how people can even embark on using mathematics to predict the whereabouts of another planet. This intricate field of study falls under astrophysics, and it's worth mentioning that Brilliant offers an exceptionally dedicated course on its platform for this subject. What's remarkable is that along with their course on scientific thinking, Brilliant can equip you with the knowledge needed to understand the mathematics behind questions like these. Their interactive and visually engaging puzzles and content make grasping these concepts truly accessible. The reason I wholeheartedly recommend Brilliant is that once you comprehend the whys underlying the workings of the universe, my videos will take you on a whole new level of significance as you watch them. You can kickstart your own learning journey for free and do so at your own pace, whether you're at home or on the move. In our cosmic odyssey in search of Planet X, one thing becomes clear. The universe still holds many secrets in its depths. While we may not have found Planet Nine yet, the pursuit of this mysterious celestial body fuels our curiosity and the spirit of discovery. The cosmos continues to unveil its wonders, and the quest for hidden worlds remains an enduring fascination for humanity. We invite you to stay tuned, keep your eyes on the night sky, and follow the ongoing scientific advancements that may one day lead us to the elusive Planet X. In the ever-evolving narrative of our universe, the story of Planet Nine is far from over.